Hi everyone, and welcome to another Aegis Business Services tutorial video. Let's jump right in and process an employee reimbursement in Mile. The first thing we need to do is to create a new clearing account. We'll do that by going to the accounts list, choosing a liability account, and going to new. The type of account will be a credit card account. We we'll use this so that we can actually make payments to it. The number we will use is 2-1560 and we'll call this account the employee reimbursement payable. In the details tab we'll just ensure that the tax code is not reportable. There we go. Now we can enter the bill that we're going to be reimbursing as normal. Go to purchases. We will enter a new purchase. And the bill was from Paperworks. It's dated the 1st of August. The invoice number We'll add the description, it was a ring of paper. And let's put that to printing. The amount, it cost us $20, including GST. Let's just change these terms to cash on delivery. We can now record the bill. And we can also straight away pay the bill off. So the pay from account will be the new reimbur employee reimbursement payable account that we've just created. We select that. The supplier was Paperworks. The date was on the 2nd. And the amount was $20. Ensure to apply the amount and we can record that transaction. There's two more steps before we can actually pay the and reimburse the employee. The first one is by creating a new payroll category in which to reimburse the employee. So we'll go to payroll categories and we are going to use a deductions account. The reason for using the deductions account and not the wages account is if you reimburse through the wages account, the amount is added to your payroll detail and payroll summary of reports, which when doing your IAS or BAS will overstate your wages. If you do use the wage account, you will need to remember to subtract any reimbursements beforehand. So from the deductions, we will go new. And we will call this an employee reimbursement account. Next, the linked payable account. We will also use the account that we created earlier, which was the 2-1560 employee reimbursement payable account. The HEO reporting category is not reportable. And we can save that. The last step beforehand will be to assign that category to the employee. For this, we can go to the card file, go to the employee that we are reimbursing. In this case, it is Mary Jones. Payroll details tab. The deductions tab and select the employee reimbursement. We can save out of that, close, and we are now ready to run the payroll. We'll process our payroll as normal, ensure all our dates are correct, and continue. We select Mary Jones, employee reimbursement, 
Now for normal deductions, this is where we would put in a negative number, but as we're doing a reimbursement, we can just put in the straight $20. You'll notice that the net pay is increased by the $20 that we are reimbursing, but the tax and super are unchanged. We can then record the payroll and finalize all the payments. We can now confirm that everything's worked correctly by going back to our accounts, our accounts list, liability, and there is our employee reimbursements payable account is at zero. To confirm the payments, we can go and have a look at the transactions. And there we go. There's the bill going in and the payment being reimbursed to Mary Jones. Thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions for further videos, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like if you found this helpful and subscribe to be notified of new content.